So I'm going to wrap up here with um, with also just a bit about experimental and observational studies, uh, different ways of uh, generating data, different interpretations. Um, the key aspect of an experimental study is that there is intervention. So you're not just observing individuals from the population, you are actually randomly intervening on, on some of them. This is what randomized uh, controlled trials are, and it eliminates the possibility of confounding because you control the assignment of your treatment or your intervention randomly and you know what those probabilities are. So because you eliminate the possibility for other things affecting your, your, your outcome because you are randomly assigning them, you can prove causality in experimental studies. In observational studies, there is no intervention. Um, there are several types of these cross-sectional studies such as uh, the ones I mentioned, NYC Haynes Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System, the National Haynes Study, these are a cross-section of the population at a given point in time. And they're just observing, asking questions, taking measurements. This, by the way, is what, um, how we would categorize the, the Go Viral study. Um, in retrospective studies, you recruit people based on their health status. So this would be, say, you, you uh, interview people, you ask whether they have had the flu in the past year, and you, you recruit cases, controls based on past health <coughs> status. Um, and prospective would be where you follow up a, a, uh, a cohort through time, which actually maybe is, maybe is a better description of this study because it would be followed through time uh, throughout a flu season. Um, observational studies in general cannot prove causality because you're not intervening. There is a possibility that, um, that there are other unobserved things influencing the outcome that, that you are observing. So even though you, you observe people with different outcomes, with different exposures, there may be other differences that, that you're unaware of. Um, just as an example, uh, does smoking cause lung, lung cancer? If you wanted to address this directly uh, by an experimental approach, you would have to intervene. So one way you could design a study like that, it would be to take never smokers and randomly assign them to smoking and non-smoking groups, follow them over a number of years and see which group develops more cancer. Um, this, um, or, so th this would be a very direct way of observing it. It's never been done because obviously that's not an ethical study to do. Um, an alternative uh, experimental approach could be to take smokers and uh, assign them to no intervention or to a cessation program and follow for years to see who develops more lung cancer. Um, that, of course, is going to have an element of observation to it unless your cessation program has 100% efficacy and your smoking group, everyone continues to smoke. So um, this, in, in many important public health program, uh, questions, there has to be an element of observational uh, study to them for practical and ethical reasons. Um, alternative observational approaches in, the, in that same example, the cross-sectional approach would be to take a, a sample of the population. So, you know, and this has been done uh, every year in, in the studies that, that I mentioned, ask whether the, those individuals have been diagnosed with lung cancer in the past number of years and also ask about their smoking status and see if there's a correlation between them. The retrospective uh, approach would be to recruit some number of cases with lung ca cancer, some number without, and then collect other data on them and their history and see if there are other differences between them. 
and the perspective approach would be to take a group of uh, individuals, follow them over a number of years, collect in information on their lifestyles and exposures, and then see over the years uh, who gets lung cancer and see what differences exist uh, between them. So obviously none of these are, are perfect because there is the possibility of there being other differences between, um, between the lung cancer and the non-lung cancer groups that you don't know about. Um, but between a combination of them, uh, you can start building up pieces of evidence. <coughs> um, and I'm going to wrap up. Here's a summary just uh, for your notes of the key things 